In this video, I am going over the most popular questions I have gotten as a video editor and how you can best answer them to get closer to that job. If we haven't met, I'm Colleen and I'm your video editor. In this channel, I teach you how to get a job as a video editor and how to get paid. Your interview is just as important, if not more important than your portfolio. Why? Because most of the time, the client is looking for more than just your skill set. They want to make sure Sure that you're going to be a valuable and positive addition to their team. So let's dive in already. How to sell your video editing experience. So the client might ask, what's your experience with X type of videos. Now this could be social media videos, uh, wedding videos, gaming videos, or the client might ask, can you tell me about a specific project you've edited that's similar to this project? Here, it's all going to depend on your actual experience. If you do have relevant experience, this is a great time to not only elaborate on this, but to show why you're so passionate about this specific type of project or this specific type of company. Now, if you do not have experience here, this is where you need to get creative. Let's say you're interviewing for a gaming YouTube channel, but you have zero gaming experience. Well, hopefully you do have some interest in the gaming world and you can relay that passion to the client. You also want to break down the individual pieces of the editing styles that make up most gaming videos. This could include pulling selects for a montage, editing to music, editing audio for common Maybe you do have experience pulling selects for montage in a different area. You can still touch on that to the client even though it's not in the gaming world. The client wants to hear of your past experiences in similar projects because they want to trust that you know what that video editing is going to entail and that you're comfortable with all of those pieces. So if you can break down the details of what it would be like to be that type of editor and you can share your experience experience with those individual pieces, you can still reassure the client of your experience without having direct experience. How to get past the overly techie questions. Sometimes you'll have an interviewer who doesn't know much about video editing. Sometimes you'll have an interviewer who knows almost too much about video editing. So if they start throwing questions at you to try and stump you on your technical knowledge, do not let this shake you. Keep a notebook with you during your interview. When they ask if you are knowledgeable in broadcast export settings or after effects keyframing, whatever it may be, right Write it down. If you're not totally knowledgeable in that area, tell them that you have a basic understanding of it and you're excited to have more hands-on experience in that area working with them. If you do get the job, or maybe even beforehand, be sure to look up these terms and learn what they are, at least on paper, so that you can be more confident on the spot for either your next interview or when you go into the job, you'll know what you're doing. Let's get into more abstract interview questions. Why are you interested in this specific position? This is a great moment for you to elaborate on your own personal passions. Maybe you love helping animals or playing sports. And so getting to combine your passion with video editing is the ultimate experience for you. When I was applying for a specific job that had to do with animals, the very first thing that I expressed was my love for animals and helping them. That alone got me the job because no one else was talking about their passion for animals. And that connects to the client so much more than your video editing experience does. So very often, clients will be drawn to like-minded candidates over candidates that have a higher skill set simply because they sense their passion. It makes you a more interesting person to work with and they can trust that you're going to take this seriously and that you're in it for the long term. What are you hoping to gain from this position? You want to be a little careful here, but this is a great time to bring up your weaknesses if you have any. Be open to the fact that you're excited to work more in After Effects on this job or that you've always wanted to edit wedding videos and so you're looking forward to learning that style of editing. The key is to spin it. I'm excited I get to versus I've never done 
X before. Questions you have to prepare for. What questions do you have about this position? Don't forget that you are also interviewing them. Come prepared with detailed questions about the video editing position. What will the workflow look like? Who will I be working with exactly? What do you expect the start date to be? Are there any other programs or platforms that I'll be working with? Do not be afraid to have lots of questions going into this and take lots of notes so you can reflect back on this. Can you send me the link to your YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, etc.? Of course, more than likely they have creeped on your social media by now. But especially if you're interviewing for a social media or content creation position, they may want to see what your YouTube or Instagram profiles look like. This is why I love stressing to start making more content. Even if the content is just your own passion projects, or just to make it look like you do more client work than you've actually done. Recent consistent content equals an impressed and excited client. What the client is really looking for? Well, it's very simple. Your personality, your ability to communicate, your trustworthiness, your ability to understand their needs and their vision, and your willingness to adapt and to learn. If you can express all of those in your interview, more than likely you are going to be highly considered for the position. And another key to a great interview is to make sure the client is doing most of the talking. Whoever is talking the least is in the position of power. Let the client go on about the struggles of their past editors or their future goals that they are trying to achieve in the business. It doesn't matter. The more that they're talking, as long as it's in a positive light, the more that they will remember the conversation because they got to talk to you, vent to you. They are forming a connection with you by being able to trust you enough to talk to you. And the more than likely that you may end up getting the job. And hey, since you made it this far, please, if you don't mind hitting the like button below and hit subscribe for more tips on video editing, creativity, and freelance lifestyle. Check out these videos next for more tips on how to get a job as a video editor. Thank you to my team. Again, I'm Colleen and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.